Thanks for joining us, everybody. We are live from the KFVS Digital News Desk. Um, we are here today uh, speaking a little bit about uh, kids heading back to school. And uh, let's see here. We've got in or to join us uh, Bethany Bachman, um, and uh, she is with the University of Missouri Extension. Uh, we are going to take a look at uh, how some of those so those different variables in, in kids' nutrition change heading back to school and what to, what to do about it. Yeah, Bethany, can you just tell us a little bit, you know, uh, kids during summer may have a little bit more freedom, you know, to in their schedule, their, their, their diets and things along those lines. Um, heading back to school, what changes uh, and, and, and what do people need to be aware of? The one thing to think about whenever we send kids back to school is they don't have that freedom to snack during the day like they may at home. So their lunches might be a little bit bigger. Um, if you're packing a lunch for them, add a little bit extra in there. Um, also make sure that their morning breakfast is something that's going to fuel them for the day. So make sure that you're giving something them with some whole grains, um, a good protein source, things like that to help fuel them for the morning. Um, a lot of lunch times have bumped up in the day. So you'll see some kids eating lunch anywhere from like 1045 to 1230. So if they're on the long or the farther end of that, um, you may want to make sure that they have a little bit extra with them in the morning to keep them going to that point in time, because they don't have that ability to snack like they did during the summer. For sure. For sure. And, um, you know, I imagine when it comes to, uh, to getting, to getting kids prepared and, uh, getting them off to school, um, that, you know, that that will cause, you know, some some level of uh, just a difference in terms of, I guess, when their stomach grumbles throughout the day, you know, those sorts of things that um, they've got to get back in the habit of. Um, do, you, do you see anything where kids may like, I guess, overcompensate when they come home and then in, in terms of bad snacking habits, that sort of thing to to, to make up for the uh, being deprived, I guess, throughout the day? <laughs> Absolutely. They're going to come home. And well, the biggest thing about sending your kids off to school is if they're eating a lunch at school that the school provides, you don't know how much of that they're consuming. Um, so you're taking their word for what um, they're going to tell you they consumed. And so they may come home and say, I didn't like the lunch. It wasn't something that was appealing to me. I didn't eat much of it. And so then they kind of want to have free range of the snack cabinet. So um, it's kind of reeling that in. And if they are incredibly hungry, making sure that you have things on hand for them that are going to provide them with nutrients and not just empty calories. So trying to avoid the chips and the sweets and things like that and opting for things, you know, string cheese, yogurt, things like that. Um, other protein sources, mixed nuts, different things that have nutritional value to them that will fill them up if they really are that hungry when they come home um, and not kind of just set them on a downward spiral of eating everything in sight for the rest <laughs> of the evening. For sure. Um, you know, as, as as we look at that and, you know, as you mentioned, the, the back to school lunches and we talked before, of course, about planning for healthy lunches if they're taking their lunch to school. But, you know, so schools have uh, as far as planning out those 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 lunches that, that there's a uh, different criteria. I know that the, the my plate thing, I think, was uh, was was what it was a few years ago. I don't know if it, it's still that since it's changed from the food triangle. You know, it changes over time. But um but I guess it really just comes down to whether or not kids are going to be responsive to that or going to eat that, right? That That's what it really comes down to. Yeah, and so if you're able to, you know, print off that school menu so the kids know what's coming, um, and if you're willing to pack lunches from from home, if, you know, it's something that they're really not going to eat, you know, don't stress your out, yourself out about packing those lunches. Make it as easy as possible. Um, so right now I have a kiddo at home that's stuck on peanut butter sandwiches. Um, sometimes kids are creatures of habit, and so if they're asking for a peanut butter sandwich every day, that's probably okay, um, because you also need to remember that if you're packing lunch or if they're eating at school, that nutrition over time is cumulative. So it's not just, oh, they they had a meal that maybe wasn't the best. You can't just look at that in itself. You have to look at their entire day, their entire week, you know, over months and years, our nutrition kind of accumulates. So 
you have to be cognizant of that and don't beat yourself up if the kids do have a meal that's just not the best as far as nutrition. Um, they're going to compensate again whenever they get home and eat other items that will kind of help balance it out. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else today to mention that um, just good good information to keep in mind when thinking about, uh, about what kids are eating in back to school, uh, this transitional period? Yeah, um, just always keep in mind, you know, you mentioned my plate. We are still utilizing that. So try to hit all of those food groups throughout the day. Um, it doesn't have to be if, you know, you have a picky kiddo at home, try to give them something nutritious for lunch, um, breakfast, dinner. Um, but remember, it all adds up in the day and make it easy on yourself. If you're packing lunches from home, work on it the night before keep the kids involved and allow them to have some freedom of choice, um, give their opinion, help them make some of that um, and make it fun for them. So they're more likely to eat it if they are being sent a lunch from home. All right. Absolutely. All those, those uh, good habits that uh, the, the, the habit of planning that helps to uh, make sure that those good habits uh, keep stacking up all, all of that, uh, all great stuff. Bethany Bachman is a field specialist in nutrition and health education um, over at the University of Missouri Extension. Uh, Bethany, thank you so much for being here today. Appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, to our audience as well, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. We're going to turn it back over to Local News Live. Stick around. More from our sister stations just around the corner.